In mid-December, I was in downtown Seattle, and I came across one of those live nativity scenes, and I'd never seen one before. I go, oh, check it out, a live nativity scene. Look at there, that's a, uh, that's a, uh, that's a homeless encampment. All right. <laughs> Where did they get a camel? <laughs> I got a cheap hotel recently. I knew it was cheap. I wanted free parking, continental breakfast. That's all I needed. I went down to the lobby in the morning. There was a bucket of water, two raw potatoes. <laughs> I said to the guy that works, I go, uh, your website says there's a continental breakfast. He said, doesn't say which continent. <laughs> that is an excellent loophole, my friend. And it doesn't matter where I travel in the country. It doesn't matter where you go in the country. Highway construction everywhere. It just never ends. And this is what I know about highway construction. Could they bring the temporary cement walls in any closer to the edge of the highway? <laughs> like driving isn't hard enough. It's pouring down rain. It's pitch black. You're trying to follow that white line. The white line goes under the cement wall. <laughs> you ever see those skid marks go up the side of those walls? You <laughs> What happened there? I'm a habitual speeder. Anybody else habitual speeders? Where are my people? That's part of the problem right there. There's not enough of us. There's nothing wrong with traffic. We couldn't fix with some speed, folks. Let's go. You know how to make more water go through a hose? Turn it up faster. There's trouble merging in this country, too. Let me tell you how merging works. Listen up, listen carefully. I want you to take this with you tonight, okay? Here's how you merge. Ready for this? Speed up. You see how that works? Go faster. The term is merge, not wedge. Here's the all-American merge right here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 30, 20, 10. <laughs> If all the traffic's going 70, you don't come down the ramp at 50 and make a hole. You come down at 80 and find one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be a team player. Everybody cheers that. No one ever does it. <laughs> Let me ha tell you how you get off the highway. Exit, then break. <laughs> it's not break, exit. It's exit, break. That works best for all of us. How many of you here uh, suck at driving? How many of you suck at driving? I need, I need to see more hands. Way more hands. I need to see way more hands. A couple of you are honest. Uh, a couple of you, the rest of you, you don't understand. Here's a traffic scenario I'd like to ask you about. Oncoming traffic, we, you need to make a left through the oncoming traffic. How much room do some of you need? You only have to miss the bumper of the car that just went past. Some of you apparently need to see the horizon. <laughs> I've, making a, I've made a left out of the second position many times in my life before. I'm like, okay, he, he could have gone there. He could have gone there. Could have gone there. He's not going here. I am. Boom, right there. Yeah. We got places to go. And who put in all these traffic circles and didn't tell anybody how they work? <laughs> that circle doesn't have to be empty for you to enter it. There just has to be enough room for you to fit. Pick out a hole and hit that thing like an NFL running back. <laughs> if you've ever driven up to a traffic circle and stopped, I want you to go home tonight, lay down your keys and never ever pick them up ever, <laughs> ever again. I told you, I'm, a, I'm always speeding. I'm 15 over when I'm early. I don't know what it is. I just think if gamblers could attribute their problem to a disease, I should be able to plead the same thing, don't you? <laughs> Please, Your Honor, don't find me. I'm just gonna speed again. I need treatment. <laughs> you ever been on a two-lane highway, seen an RV, 10 or 12 cars stacked up behind it? Nobody can pass. One guy, some psycho guy goes nuts. <laughs> from the back of the pack, passes all row. You ever see that? I'm that guy. <laughs> Nobody else has any guts, I'll do it. 
See you suckers later. I think passing's a lost art form. I can pass on a two-lane bridge with a school bus coming at me, no problem. <laughs> it's a question of three things. Heart, commitment, horsepower. That's the other one. <laughs> you don't want to pass in that smart car. <laughs> I don't feel very smart right now. <laughs> I went into a parking garage in Seattle recently. I pay my money. I go up the ramp. There's a big sign on the wall. It says speed limit, five miles an hour. And then in big red letters, it says strictly enforced. <laughs> five. How'd you like to drive around the corner, see a cop stand there with a radar gun? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Chase me with his flashlight. Woo! Do you know why I pulled you over? No. Got you doing seven. <laughs> How'd you like to go to court on that? Mr. Upton been charged with doing seven and a five. How do you plead? Embarrassed. In the state of Washington, where I'm from, we have some of the most restrictive anti-smoking laws in the country due to secondhand smoke. They're good laws. You know what I'm tired of, though? We need a law about everywhere I fly now, I have to sit like this. You know I'm getting tired of? Secondhand fat. <laughs> Son of, every time I get on a jet, there's a 600-pounder coming down the aisle. I'm like, oh, no, 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 not, not. <laughs> they always say the same thing. Can I, can I sneak past you? Your sneaking days are over, my friend. <laughs> you sneak past the Golden Corral one time, all right? <laughs> you guys can relax on that joke. I look around the room before I do it. <laughs> Sometimes I have to change it to 800. <laughs> Felt pretty safe at 600 tonight.